Welcome to today's CT Style Express. I'm Natasha Lubchenko. The Salvation Army brings help and hope to thousands around the state facing poverty, hunger, and job loss. And on Thursday, October 21st, there's an opportunity for you to get involved. Here to tell us about the Restoring Hope Day of Giving is Major Deborah Ashcraft, Divisional Commander of the Salvation Army, Southern New England Division. Deborah, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. We're really excited about this day of giving and so grateful for the folks in Connecticut who've embraced the Salvation Army and make it possible for us to feed the hungry and provide housing for the homeless and help families with rent and utility assistance. And the need has never been greater. That's why we're having a Restoring Hope Day of Giving this Thursday, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. And we're grateful for the partnership with News 8. And we hope that people will make a contribution so that we can continue to serve families in need. And now talk to us a little bit more about the Day of Giving. Uh, how can people get involved and where do these funds go? So people can get involved by making a donation. Uh, they can even give now if they want to at uh, SalvationArmyCT.org. They can text their gift to Hope for CT to 71777. And um, we'll have information that the station will have information with the phone number. So people will be able to call that day and make their pledge or make their contribution with a credit card. And the important thing to remember is that when you give, you are helping your neighbors. The Salvation Army will use your zip code to make sure that those funds go back to, to your community to make sure that families who are hungry get food and that um, families who have faced um, hardship and need help with rent and utility assistance will get that help and that toys will be given to children this Christmas. And talk to me a little bit more about the programs and services that you offer the people of Connecticut. We saw a few photos right there. You really do important work in the community. Well, last year, the Salvation Army served more than 155,000 people in Connecticut in a variety of ways. Um, we provide food assistance for individuals. We provide preschool learning and after school education programs for children. We operate shelters for families and single men. Uh, we're there when disaster strikes to help people um, in great need. We have services for victims of human trafficking and, um, and much more. And it's, we're able to do all this because of the generosity of people in this great state. And so we hope that people will continue to give and know that your donation is gonna help families and individuals in your community who are hungry, who are on the verge of homelessness or may be experiencing homelessness. And you will be providing children with opportunities they would never otherwise have. And is the need greater now post pandemic? Are you seeing more families and individuals that need your services? Absolutely. Um, just alone in our food pantries, we are experiencing two to three times more individuals coming to the Salvation Army than they did before the pandemic. We know that families, I'm talking hardworking families, and many folks are working more than one job to try to make ends meet, and they are struggling. We have all seen the high cost of food, gasoline prices have gone up, baby items, household items have all gone up, and these this economic uh, challenge has really hit um, those who were low wage earners really hard. And so we want to help support these families to prevent them from becoming homeless and to, to again, make sure that they have food on their table for their families in need. So the need without a doubt is even greater. So through this day of giving, you know, whether it be a small or large donation, what does it mean for you and the people that you serve to have this community involvement and support? I think that um, help at any, you know, any, there's nothing that's too small that you could give. I mean, we all have um, blessings and we can just share whatever those blessings are. And that help will mean hope basically for families. And you, your gift will ensure that families in your community who are struggling will receive help, but also hope they will know that somebody cares. And that means a great difference. So we, you know, together we can make a great difference for people who are struggling just to put food on the table, to pay the utility bills, to pay the rent. We can make a difference and we can bring hope. Yeah, when we, when we all work together, amazing things are possible. And now, Deborah, tell us one more time, where can people go to learn more and how can they help? Learn more at SalvationArmyCT.org and you'll find information about 
Salvation Army Services and how you can help in your local community. And you can give a donation at SalvationArmyCT.org or you can text your gift to Hope for CT to 71777. Wow. And we'll be very grateful for your support. Very thankful. Wonderful. And again, the day of giving is Thursday, October 21st. Major Deborah Ashcraft from the Salvation Army, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you for your help. And that's it for today's CT Style Express. I'm Natasha Lubchenko. Thanks so much for being here with us. Have a great day.